we start as usual down on the mat. So lay down. Knees bent if you need a bit of a um, more relax in the um, lumbar spine. Roll the arms outward, slide the shoulder blades toward the waist and pull the back of your head away from the shoulders just to lengthen your spine. Close your eyes, inhale deeply and exhale fully with your mouth. <sighs> Let go any tension. <sighs> with the exhalation. <sighs> Relax your forehead, eyebrows, and the skin between the eyebrows. Relax your eyes and let this sink deeper into the skull. Relax the skin of your face. Unclench your jaw and let your lips open slightly. Relax your throat neck and shoulders, arms, forearms and hands. Relax your spine, vertebra per vertebra. From the cervical to the coccyx. Relax your belly and the whole abdominal area. Relax your hips, groins. Relax your thighs, hamstrings, knees, legs, ankles and feet. Bring your awareness into your breathing cycle and start observing every aspect of your breathing cycle. Which part of your body moves the most? Chest or belly? If both moves, which one move first? Observe without changing anything. Observe simply to know yourself. Observe the, the length of your breath. Inhalation and exhalation have the same length. One of them is naturally longer. Observe, take notes, become a witness. Observe like you were observing someone else's breath. Observe also the small poses between inhalation and exhalation and between exhalation and inhalation, the small moments where everything stops, even your breath. Become aware of the four phases of your breathing cycle. Inhalation, pose, exhalation, pose. And there too, observe. Is one of the two poses longer compared to the other. Observe that the throat is always free, open, relaxed. 
even during the poses, even in the suspended states. Three more observing breaths. At the end of your third breath, take control and create a breathing cycle of the same length, the inhalation and exhalation. Lengthen a bit also the two poses. Same length, inhalation and exhalation. Slightly longer poses. Create a long, slow, steady breath. If you feel some tension rising up, step back. This is not a challenge. You're playing with your breath, it's true, but without adding any tension in your body. Listen to your body. And play with your breath. Same length, inhalation and exhalation slightly longer poses. Try and keep your throat open, relaxed and free. Also during the poses, use therefore the muscles of your chest Good to keep the lungs full at the end of your inhalation and empty at the end of your exhalation. Use the muscles. Don't close your throat. Create a suspended state. long, slow, steady breath. From your next breath, lengthen the exhalation more and more, still listening to your body. Create a breath with the exhalation longer than the inhalation. Up to the double of the length of the inhalation. Keep the suspended states slightly longer. Keep your breath easy relaxed, controlled, but somehow comfortable. Long, slow, steady breath. Three more breaths. At the end of the third, go back to a normal breath, not controlled. Observe if there is any feelings or emotions that rise up during the controlled breath.
Inhale deeply. Roll on your right side. Stay on your right side for a brief moment before pushing with the left hand to sit up. And enter Dandasana. Stick pose. So, keep your legs straight. And next to your um, hips, sternum up, shoulder blades down, roll your upper arm outward. Roll your hips slightly forward. But keep your spine straight. Actually, keep your shoulders right above the hips but push your lumbar spine slightly to the front. Keep your legs straight. Now start pushing your, he uh, your knees down toward the mat. Activate your quadriceps, your thighs, and push your legs down. Roll your legs slightly inward and while rotating the legs slightly inward, push your spine, push your lumbar spine, bit forward, roll slightly your hips forward, sternum up, shoulder blades down, without compromising all the movement that we created now. So keep on pushing the legs down, keep on rolling the hips um, forward, keep on rolling the legs inward. Okay, bend your right leg, slide the right shoulder, uh, but not the shoulder, <laughs> the right ankle right under <laughs> the left knee, because the shoulder under the knee, it's quite tricky without moving the, the right leg, bend the left leg just in front, stand them up, shoulder blades down, put your hands on the knees and start rolling the hips forward, keep your spine straight and keep on moving slightly forward. Keep your spine straight, look in front of you, stand them up, Shoulder blades down, yes, exactly. Shoulder blades down, sternum up. When you arrive at your maximum, you can either put your elbows over the knees to find a kind of more comfortable position. Know that comfortable in this position is not the right word. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, keep on rolling the hips forward, keep on going down, but keep the spine straight. If you can, put your hands on the mat. Only if you can, otherwise just keep your elbows over the knees. Three breaths. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. At the end of the third breath, allow your spine to unwind and go down. Relax your spine. Allow your, sp your neck to lengthen. Allow your shoulder to relax. Arm completely relaxed. Belly completely relaxed. Three breaths. At the end of the third, slowly come up. Straighten your legs, put your hands next to the hips. Just the tip of the finger is touching the ground, but without any weight in it. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, roll the upper arm outward. 
And like we did before, roll your hips forward, but keep your shoulder right above the hips. Put your lumbar spine a little bit further. Okay. Push your legs down to the mat. Put your, push your knees down. Roll your legs slightly inward. And while rolling the legs inward, push your lumbar spine forward. A little bit more. Three breaths. Legs active. Bend your left leg. Let's lay the left ankle right under the right knee. Without moving the right and the left uh, leg, bend your uh, bend your right leg in front. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Put your hands on the knees. Start rolling the hips forward. Look in front of you. Keep your spine straight. Keep your sternum lifted. Shoulder blades down, sternum lifted. Keep on rolling the hips forward. The movement start on the hips, not on the spine. If it's more comfortable for you, you can put your elbows over the knees, sternum up, shoulder blades down. Keep on rolling the hip forward and only if you can, without compromising your, um, your back, put your hands down on the ground. Sternum up, shoulder blades down, three breaths. At the end of the third breath, let your back Move slowly to the back and to the ground. Let your back go round. Relax your arms, shoulders. Relax your face, throat. Relax your neck. Allow your neck to lengthen. Relax your belly. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, slowly come up. Straighten your legs again for Dandasana. Bend your right leg and put your right feet firmly on the ground just inside the uh, left knee. Okay. Grab your right knee, sternum up, shoulder blades down and push your chest toward the knee. Okay. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, lift your left leg. Three breaths. At the end of the third, allow the legs to go down again and change leg. Bend your left leg, put your left feet next to the right knee, grab your left knee with both hands, sternum up, shoulder blades down, push your chest toward the knee, inhale deeply. And with the exhalation, lift your right leg. Three breaths. Yeah, it's, it's horrible, I know. <laughs> okay, you're down. Put your feet in Baddha Konasana. And keep the feet quite close to the pubis. Grab your ankles, sternum up, shoulder blades down, and start pushing the knees down. To help you push the knees down, 
try and pull the inner part of your feet up toward the knees instead of rotation of the base of the feet and allow the knees to get down three breaths At the end of the third breath, bend your elbows, put your elbows inside in contact with the inner legs and start using the elbows to push down your legs slightly without forcing too much. Just giving some more information to your body showing your body that you can move in that direction. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, come up, release the grip on the ankle and straighten your right leg to the right, to the right side. Okay. Keep your left um, heel quite close to the pubis. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Turn to the left and put your hands on the ground on either side of the leg. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Stay there, just stay there. Three breaths. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. Okay. Now start pushing the left knee a bit to the back. When you push with your left knee down and back, you will see that your, um, your hip will move slightly to the right side. So just pushing with the, with the knees down will help you rotate your chest right above the right um, leg. Keep the chest right above the knees and start rolling the hips forward. But keep the chest aligned right above the leg. Turn them up, shoulder blades down. When you arrive at your maximum, grab with your left hand the outer side of your right leg. Well, actually, you're just doing the, the, the opposite because I do uh, in, uh, in a sort of mirror, but yeah, you were doing exactly <laughs> the same thing like I do. So. <laughs> So now, no problem, you can just stay there. It's not a problem. Uh, I'm just gonna switch the left and right. Okay, so now roll your hips forward and, um, and put your right hand right outside of your left leg. Okay, grab the leg and use, grab the leg with the right hand and use the right hand on the left leg to help you twist even more. Okay, sternum up, shoulder blades down. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, roll the hips forward and try and grab the outer part of your feet with the, with the left hand. Okay. Keep the right hand outside of your left leg and use the pressure of the hand against the leg to help you twist even more. I really have the, the hand like this. So I can just keep on um, using this pressure to twist. Okay, perfect. Stand them up, shoulder blades down. 
and go even further down 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 with the chest as much as you can in contact with your leg sternum up look at your feet and slowly come up okay change leg so now put your left heel next to the pubis straighten your right leg stand up, up shoulder blades down inhale deeply with the exhalation roll uh, rotate um, on your right side put your hands down on the ground on either side of your left uh, of your right leg stand them up shoulder blades down push with your left heel down and back to help you move your hip toward the right side push the leg the 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 bent knee down to the mat and you will see that you will have a bit of moving on your hip okay perfect stand them up shoulder blades down roll your hips forward and start walking forward with your hands when you arrive at your maximum grab with your left hand the outer part of your right leg and use this pressure to keep the chest right above the leg stand them up shoulder blades down keep the chest right above the leg stand them up shoulder blades down keep on rotating the hip forward to go down 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 and if you can grab the outer part of your right feet with your right hand keep the chest right above the leg stand them up shoulder blades down keep on pushing with the left knee down to help you twist a little bit more to the right side stand them up shoulder blades down and go to your maximum three breaths at the end of the third slowly slowly come up it's a beautiful twist it's not only the the hamstring actually it's not really the hamstring okay now put your legs wide feet pointing to the sky put your hands right above the legs wherever is more comfortable for you stand them up shoulder blades down and start rotating your hip forward stand them up shoulder blades down look in front of you relax your belly relax your face when you arrive at your first maximum start pushing the knees down pushing the hamstring down activate your quadriceps and rotate your hips even further keep on activating the quadriceps Keep your thighs active, sternum up, shoulder blades down. Look at your feet and check to have the feet still pointing to the sky, not rotating inward or, or, or outward. Keep on pushing the hamstring down, keep on activating the thighs, sternum up, shoulder blades down, keep on rotating forward. Three breaths. Close your eyes. Keep your thighs active. At the end of the third, slowly, slowly come up. 
Okay, now interlace your hands right behind your buttocks. Okay. And now straighten your arms. That's your maximum. Sternum up, sternum up. Push your hands down toward the mat, down to the ground, almost touching the ground. Okay, and keeping this movement of the hands down toward the mat, again rotate your hips forward. When you arrive at your first maximum, start concentrating on your legs, start pushing your legs down, activate your thighs, sternum up, shoulder blades down, push your hands back and keep on rotating the hips down. Five breath, close your eyes. At the end of the five uh, of the fifth breath, slowly come up. Put your hands over the legs and create circles with your lumbar spine. First on one side, and then on the other side. Move the two legs together. Bend your knees. Grab your knees um, under the knees with both hands, or with both arms. Keep your chest in contact with your thighs and slowly start moving your heels to the front. Keep your chest always in contact with your thighs to protect your lumbar spine. The maximum now is when you're still in contact, but you cannot go any further. When you reach your maximum, allow your head to relax. Without moving your legs, Relax your arms completely. Three breaths. Relax your face, your neck, shoulders, arms, hands. Relax your back, relax your belly. The only active part of your body is the legs. And now try and walk a little bit further. Try and go to your new maximum. Keep your chest still in contact with your thighs. Three breaths. In case you're touching the ground with the arms, you can slide the arms out and put it just next to the legs. Keep the chest still in contact with the legs. Three breaths. And try and go a little bit further, even more. Still with the chest in contact with your legs. Relax your spine, relax your neck, relax your arms, shoulders, hands, relax your belly. Three breaths.
at the end of the third breath. Keep still the chest as much as you can in contact with the legs. And try and go further. If you're already with the legs straight, push the chest and push the, the hamstring down to the mat. Activate your thighs. Relax your belly, but activate your thighs. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, lift your head, just the head. And if you can, grab the outer part of your feet. And using the grip on your feet, try and move your chest toward the leg, toward the, the feet. Stand them up. Three breaths. Relax your shoulders. Okay. At the end of the third breath, slowly come up. Bend your knees. And move with the back on the mat. Bend your knees. Grab your knees with both hands. And push. The, the knees toward the chest. Now, allow your left leg, left feet, to go down to the ground. Okay. And grab the right leg just behind your knee. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now you can also grab with both hands. It's more comfortable for me, anyway. Inhale, with the exhalation, start straightening your right leg. Push with your left feet against the ground to create a slight rotation of the hip. Keep the leg straight and keep the right leg straight. When you run at your maximum, stay there for three breaths. At the end of the third breath, push your heel up to the sky and pull your toes toward your face. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, still pushing slightly with the left feet against the ground, walk with your hands toward your heel, your right heel. Stay there for three breaths. Relax your face, relax your belly, but activate your thigh. Okay. At the end of the third breath, try and pull the leg even further toward your face. Three breaths. And at the end of the third breath, lift your head and try and kiss your knee. Three breaths. At the end of the third, slowly, slowly, go down with the right leg, no, with the right feet down to the ground. Close your eyes and observe the difference between left and right.
lift your left feet and first grab your knee and push the knee toward the uh, chest thank you okay now grab your leg just under the knee okay inhale deeply with exhalation start straightening your left leg three breaths at the end of the third breath push with your right feet against the ground to create a, a small rotation of the hip three breaths step by step at the end of the third breath start pushing your heel up to the sky and start pulling your toes toward the face three breaths at the end of the third breath walk with your hands up if you can grab your heel three breaths at the end of the third breath Bend your elbows and pull the legs as much as you can toward your chest. Three breaths. And at the end of the third, lift your head and try and kiss your knee. Three breaths. At the end of the third, slowly go back with both feet down to the ground. Bend both legs, grab the knees with your hands, push the knees toward the chest and roll left and right side. okay roll completely on your right side push with the left hand to sit up and move in tabletop position roll your arms outward slide the shoulder blades toward the waist inhale deeply with the exhalation roll your hips backward push your spine toward the sky look at your belly push with the hands against the ground Inhale, roll your hips forward. Allow your spine to drop. Look at the sky and there too, push with the hands against the ground. Exhale, look at your belly. Inhale, look at the sky. And one last time. Exhale, belly. Inhale, sky. Now, walk slightly back with your uh, knees. Move your feet as wide as the mat. Tuck your toes under. Inhale deeply with the exhalation. Push your buttocks back and shoulders down. Keep the shoulders down and slowly start lengthening your legs. Keep on pushing the chest over the, to the toes. Beautiful. Really beautiful, actually. Three breaths.
at the end of the third breath, lift your heels as high as you can, roll your hips forward to lengthen even more your hamstring, push the chest toward the toes, and without compromising all those movement, allow your heels to move down toward the ground again. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, walk back with your hands till Uttanasana with wide legs. Roll your hips forward, even there. Close your eyes. Put your weight on the ball of the feet. Still with your eyes closed, activate your thighs. And observe if you have any movement around the hips. Just activate your thigh. Now with the thighs active, rotate the thighs inward. Even though it won't move, maybe it will move just one millimeter. But imagine that you're just rotating the legs inward. Three breaths, thighs active. At the end of the third breath, grab your legs with both hands, with both arms, and try and push your chest toward the legs. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, Put your hands on the waist, bend your knees and slowly, 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 come up. Well, you asked for working on the hamstring. We are working on the hamstring. <laughs> you have to pay attention on what you ask. <laughs> That's good. The soup actually is super good because you feel so light at the end of the class and it's something that I really love. So now put your right leg, right feet to the back, left feet to the front of the mat, keep around one meter between the two feet, a little bit less, less than that. Okay, just one meter between the two. Okay, put your hands on the waist. First thing first, check your hip. Check to have the hip parallel to the small side of the mat. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Push the two elbows closer. Kind of squeezing your, um, your shoulder blades. Kind of, not too much. Okay, now stand them up, shoulder blades down, and start rotating your hips forward. When you arrive at 45 degrees, start activating your legs, your thighs, just like we did before, exactly in the same manner. And then keep on rotating the hip down, 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 down to your maximum. When you are at your maximum, put your hands on the ground. If the ground is a little bit too far away, you can grab some blocks, for instance, and put the hands over the blocks. Otherwise, keep on rotating the hips forward. 
and keep on lengthening the, the back of your legs. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, slowly, slowly, come up. Put your hands on the waist again and change leg. Right leg to the front, left leg to the back. Just one meter between the two, leg, two feet, no more than that. You don't need to have the legs really wide. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, put your hands on the waist. Move the two elbows closer. Squeeze it slightly, the hamstring. Uh, sorry, the um, shoulder blades. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, start rotating the hips forward. When you arrive at your, um, 45 degrees, activate your thighs. And keep on rotating the legs. When you arrive at your maximum, move your hands down to the ground. Or toward the ground. Stand them up, shoulder blades down, even there. Three breaths. And at the end of the third breath, put your hands back on the waist, bend slightly your right leg and come up. Okay. Then that's it up. Mountain pose. The two feet are touching, the two big toes are touching, the heel is slightly apart. Roll the hips backward. When you roll the hips backward, your belly will go inward. Perfect. Sternum up, shoulder blades down. Push with your feet against the ground to grow taller. But push your shoulders, arms, hands down to the ground, almost touching the ground. Close your eyes and observe those two movements, those two different directions. The central one up to the sky, the lateral one down to the ground. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, open your, your eyes. Find the dristy fixed point just in front of you, either at eye level or slightly higher, without losing this dristy, lean on your right leg, bend your left leg and grab your big toes with your right arm. Inhale deeply. With the exhalation, start straightening the leg. Stand them up. <laughs> nice, difficult. Three breaths. If it's just impossible, just keep the leg slightly bent. It's not a problem. But if you can, like, well, actually, you can, because I can see you. <laughs> Stay there. Now, bend your knee and grab your um, left feet with your left arm. It's the same, okay? 
straighten your leg just in front of you and start opening the leg to the side. Three breaths. Yeah. Obviously, yes, you can just grab your um, your pant in case. It's not a problem. Three breaths. And at the end of the third breath, go back into Tadasana. If you have a belt, you can also use the belt to kind of create longer arms. <laughs> okay, now find again your dristi. Lean on your left leg, bend your right leg and grab your um, big toe with the right hand and straighten your leg. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, bend your knee and grab the um, the right leg, the right feet or the right leg with the right hand and straighten your leg. Open the leg to the side. Three breaths. At the end of the third breath, slowly go back to center and go back into Tadasana. Big toes touching, heels lightly apart. Roll the hips backward, sternum up, shoulder blades down. Close your eyes. And just observe. Observe your legs. And if you feel that your legs are a lot contracted, just relax. Keep your muscles active just at the minimum now. Just to keep you more or less stable but even if you're moving just a tiny bit, it's not a problem. Relax your shoulders, arms, hands. Relax your back, relax your face. And slowly open your eyes. Grab your um, belt. a super big loop. Lay down. Yeah, it's the position that you love. <laughs> so, lift both legs and put your belt on the wider part of your feet. Check to have the, um, uh, the open side of the belt toward you. Because in case you can tighten the belt. Okay. Put the, the other side of the belt just behind the bump of your head. 
there. Tighten your belt to a position which is comfortable but you have your hamstring, your legs, the back of the legs working, straightening and lengthening but also the back of the neck lengthening. Close your eyes, put your hands on the, on the belly and relax. Just stay there. And allow your body to relax. If you feel that you are maybe too comfortable, that's why you have to pay attention where you put your, your belt. Tighten your belt. Just relax, let go. Observe that if you push a little bit with your legs, you will stretch even more your leg. If you push with your head back down to the mat, you will stretch even more your hamstring legs. Play with those two feelings. If you want to try, you can put your belt also around your heels to relax even your feet. To you to find the position which is most more comfortable for you, the version that is more comfortable for you. The last moments. Slowly bend your knees, take away the belt, take everything you need to be comfortable for Shavasana. Yeah, it's already Shavasana time. <laughs> If you have any um, any tension in the lumbar spine, don't hesitate to put a um, bolster under your knees. And if you have a heavy blanket or something not too um, not too heavy, but a small weight over your belly to relax even further. 
protect to have your shoulder blades flat on the mat. Roll the arms outward to have the palm of the hand facing the sky. Roll the legs outward to let your legs relax completely. Let go. Use the first moments of Shavasana to observe the muscles of your body, the muscles that you used most today, and also use those moments to be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you did, what you accomplished today. At the end of Shavasana, I'm going to chant a mantra. And at the end of my mantra, I'm going to guide you out of the pose. Till that moment.
Swaha Tatsavitur Vareniam Bargo Devasya Timahi Dio Yonat Prachodayat Ambur Bhuva Swaha Tatsavitur Vareniam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yonat Prachodayat Ambur Bhuva Swaha Tatsavitur Vareniam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yonat Prachodayat really slowly, start moving your toes and fingers, bring back the awareness into your body, inhale deeply and exhale fully with your mouth. One more time. Bend your knees and roll on your right side. Stay in your right side for a brief moment before pushing with the left hand to sit up comfortably for the chant of three on. Keep your spine straight but relaxed. The thumb and index finger together with the palm of the hand facing the sky or the ground, whichever is more comfortable for you. Close your eyes. Inhale deeply. your hands in prayer position in front of the chest. Open your eyes. Namaste.